34 seconds. Hello everyone, here is the second video for uh, the practice question uh, simulation of an insurance company with 10,000 uh, policy and uh, um, for, for a policy holder of 40 years old. In this video, we are going to um, explain how we do 200 simulations. We have seen in the previous, uh, in the first video, uh, here is, here is the, the, the sheet we have seen before. And this is the one simulation. So with this one simulation, we have calculated the actual reserves for 10,000 policy, uh, a claim of 400,000 uh, for policy holders of 40 years old. Okay, until that. Now we are going to use uh, a simulation um, which is uh, called Monte Carlo simulation and we do see it out of for this policy. We consider this as a one simulation and we do start simulating this one 200 times. Okay, um, as you can see, um, the, we split all the things uh, of the first simulation in few different sheets. Okay, the first sheet's the main one. What we need here are the assumptions, which are exactly the same as before. We need uh, uh, the, the policy year, the policy holder's age, and the mortality rates. Then we do start uh, building up this other part and finally visualize the, the, um, the trend of the actual reserve reserves at the end. Okay, so as you can see, what we did here, are, uh, I just say very quickly that we have decreased, we, along with the increase of the years of the policy, the number of policies because of deaths. Okay, and we, as you remember, we have calculated this just by multiplying and decreasing the number of policies of the, de um, of the deaths. Okay, so we do uh, take another uh, sheet uh, we, and uh, we start building up 200 simulations, as you see, they are 200, so you need a colon from 1 to 200, and uh, um, uh, on top here, uh, you, you have the numbers of years of the policies, and all the sheets will be built uh, as the same as the first one. So the, the, just the content inside will change. So you just build up this as a simulation, year, uh, simulation and the year uh, colon and colon names. For the policies, for the year, for year zero, that for 200 times we, we, are, sure, we are sure to have 10,000 policies and this won't change. This is just the same as here. So we have 10,000 policy for year zero, and this is the same, 10,000 policy for year zero. Then for year one, we need to decrease 10,000 policies of the number of deaths. Number of deaths, as you see, is that B2, which is this sheet here. And this is obtained, this is the six, exactly the same as this one here. And to obtain this thing, uh, what we do is just normalize, use this function in Excel as we did it before. Norm inv, well, the, that means norm inverts, and then the um, probability of deaths that we have obtained randomizing. Um, uh, 
with num random numbers and we have put everything in a proper sheet here you just say that you do like this rand and then you obtain a number in, uh, from 0 to 1 and then you fill up the sheet with this random number remember to copy and pass because otherwise they change and then we take uh, we add this probability which is the random number we have just obtained uh, the mean that and the uh, standard deviation of that the mean that and the standard deviation of that are obtained as obtained just as the same as before as the same as we did in the uh, previous video okay so mean that is the first one is the multiplication of the number of policy for the mortality rate and we do put the first one here in our skeleton uh, sheet and then uh, it's important to link it, the number of policy, with the uh, colon name of the year of policy. And it, what the, the function lookup, you should know what it does. Um, it's going to uh, this page and link the years of the policy with, with the mortality rate so just then uh, scroll right and down and fill up the sheet the same as with standard deviation same exactly the same formula for formula as we did it for one simulation then uh, what we do is just look up a add this bit here so we need to link this to the first sheet with year and mortality rate once we have finally obtained uh, the uh, deaths we can fill, uh, finish to uh, fill up our um, number of policy sheet because we, the, the, for, for year zero, it will stay 100, uh, sorry, 10,000 for 200 times. From year one onwards, we need to uh, decrease it from uh, of the debts. So we do link this with the, the, the debts uh, sheet. And then scroll right and down and fill up the sheet. Um, we go quickly uh, to the premiums, uh, the premium uh, uh, as uh, for the one simulation is obtained uh, uh, number of policies times the premium amount and so now the number of policies has been settled up so we have the sheet of the number of policy fill it up we can do the premiums because we take the number of policies that we just obtained from the sheet the previous sheet and then multiplying this value for the the, the um, premium amount which is always the same okay in fact it's uh, locked so you can find it, uh, and uh, it will be all, it will stay all, always the same. Then scroll right and down, and you fill up the sheet. So this is exactly what uh, um, a sim Monte Carlo simulation does. Okay, and we are seeing in practice. So we have policy premium. We have take a consideration of the number of deaths. Finally, we jump on claims. Okay, so the claims is this is this one here, and we uh, just uh, don't need the first column because the first column uh, the, the insurance company is not supposed to pay uh, the first uh, the, for the year zero any any claim amount. So 
everything starts from year one. And from year one, we do uh, multiply the debts times the um, claim amount, because this is the amount the insurance company supposed to pay. So this will be needed to be scrolled right then down to fill up the, the whole sheet. Finally, we do take care of the uh, financial part, which is uh, very important to make a calculation of the actual reserves and see they simulated 200 times. Okay, so the first thing is to fill up a sheet with the random interest rates. Obviously, interest rates are numbers uh, between from from zero to one, so between one and zero. So we just run, use run function, and then fill up the sheet, copy and paste the value, so they won't change, and we have a sheet of random interest rates. Then we have our interest rates. No, uh, already normalized, we, we uh, uh, use a formulation uh, including uh, put um, the uh, mean interest and the standard interest from the input and output sheet, which are these two assumptions. And then uh, the things that we do is as the same as before, norm inv, and then the probability, so this interest rate ra random, and the, the two mean and standard deviation. Fill up the sheet, scroll right, then down, and we have our interest rates normalized. That means that they are more likely to be normal and not just the average that we know, okay? Um, finally, we obtain the actual reserve. To conclude, we obtain the actual reserves uh, with the same um, uh, formulation. For the, for the year zero, they will stay the same, just as the premium. And then from year one onwards, there will be uh, the previous year, uh, actual reserve uh, time at the interest rate one plus the interest rate we add the premium we decrease the the amount of the paid claims we fill up the sheet right scroll right then down we have the sheet full up for the actual reserves what we want is what is happening at the end of the policy okay so this column here and in fact, in the first sheet, input, output, we have just taken that column, highlighted here, and we have the 200 simulation to see the probability of sufficiency of the, the insurance, which is the probability that a premium charged will be sufficient to cover the claims cash flows. And this probability is just the sum of this column divided by 200, okay? And in this case, uh, the, this value is 11%, so this is not very uh, strong value, okay? Here is the visualization of this particular actual reserve at end. And this is all for today. Hope you enjoyed, hope you need it, hope uh, you find it useful. Uh, see you next time. Bye now.